What is probably y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So we're about to get into this video by Miss Mojo. This one is top 10 cringiest glee moments. If it's one thing about this show, it has like put me through so many fucking emotions. This show has made me cry, laugh. It has made me excited with like some of the performance I have seen so far. And it has also made me cringe a few times. I've had I've had some uh, some cringe moments that has like made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I question why they do this, but it's the writing. Like the writing is so good, and like I thought about that. Like they're able to like they're able to like pull so many different like emotions and feelings and shit, especially in season two. Yeah. So <laughs> this one is Miss Mojo top ten cringiest. Moment. So without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video. So let's go. I am going to create no spoilers, please. That is so toxic. No one will want to be a part of that club. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest glee moments. Oh my god, is this just gonna be Mr. Shu? For me. Because I could just turn this video off. It's okay, Rachel. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to show these guys how it's done. Have no fear, your twerktorial is here. For this list, we're taking a look at the most embarrassing, problematic, or outrageous scenes, it's just Mr. performances, Shoot. and storylines from the musical comedy drama. Since plot lines will be discussed, a it's mild so spoiler alert is in order. Oh. What glee moments do you love to hate? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Toxic Mr. Schuster. And more than that, I am going to perform with you. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward as hell. Right? At first, Will is strongly against the club covering Britney Spears because he thinks she isn't a good role model, but he ends up giving her a run for her money in that department. Now I can get you backstage if you want. Oh, hey. <laughs> We're all dressed up. Not only does he do a complete 180, but he also decides to perform Britney with the kids at the assembly. Unsurprisingly, he's trying to annoy Sue and win Emma back, who's dating successful and carefree dentist Carl. It was just awkward though. Like, it's just, it my hands been around <laughs> and round. The rendition is wildly inappropriate and embarrassing to watch. He's an adult man singing and dancing extremely suggestively with and in front of teenagers. Thank you. Said the same thing. Plus, the whole thing sows chaos amongst a hormonal student body, which is so awkward. We honestly can't help wondering how Mr. Shoe's not in jail after this. Number nine, Tater Tots Riot. In a pretty tone deaf move, the show made the only plus sized member of Glee Club the one that's obsessed with tots. Wait, where do you think you're going with those? Principal Sue banned the tots. She can't do that! When interim principal Sue bans tater tots from the school menu, Mercedes is outraged. She becomes distracted and decides to wage a war to get her beloved side back. I am declaring a war on junk food. I'm getting my tots back. In fact, she stands up in the cafeteria with a sign, which starts a protest chant that everybody joins in on. She even puts the food in the tailpipe of Coach Sylvester's car, supposedly causing $17,000 in damages. That's a lot of effort to go through just for potatoes. May I be excused? I'm gonna go stuff some tots up the tailpipe of Coach Sylvester's car. For some reason, these kids can't get tater tots they like enough anywhere else. Honestly, we've never heard of a school with food that good. Right. Number eight, Damn. Glee Club takes decongestants. Despite having no experience, Mr. Shu's wife gets hired as McKinley's new nurse. Are they safe? They're over the counter. They stock them next to the candy bars. Sweetie, I'm the school nurse. I know what I'm doing. Meanwhile, Will sets up a guy versus girls competition in Glee Club. The winner's number goes to sectionals. So what could possibly go wrong? Well, when Terry sees an exhausted Finn, she gives him over-the-counter drugs to keep him alert. Hey guys, how's it going? God, it's a beautiful day. Let's run through the number. I can't wait to do the number. I'm ready and excited. Are oh, you guys stand up? Come on, let's get this joint jumping. Has your soul been taken over by caffeinated space aliens? He thinks the decongestant is harmless <laughs> and gives some to the other guys. They deliver an energetic and crazy performance. It's my life. It's now or never. 
to even the playing field, the girls <laughs> take the medicine face. before their that. presentation, <laughs> too. Mr. Shu He's doesn't right. realize that everyone is high and showers them with praise. Everywhere I'm looking oh. at this episode definitely gave us some entertaining numbers, but the whole concept of teenagers being drugged by their nurse without anyone noticing is disturbing to say the least. Number 7. La Cucaracha. La Cucaracha. It's Spanish Week in Glee Club, so of course Will and some of the Glee Club guys perform La Cucaracha in stereotypical costumes. La Cucaracha. Hey, hey. Ya no puede it's an incredibly problematic and out-of-touch performance, oh not to mention God. that Mr. Shu shouldn't be the Spanish teacher in the first place. The performance is understandably not well received by the class, and Will is reported, mm -hmm. though nothing much comes of it. Look, I, I know I'm not a native Spanish speaker, sometimes I get a little trippy. William, will you please remove that enormous sombrero so I can break it down for you? Somehow he still doesn't get it and prepares another terrible and offensive performance. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. This time Santana confronts him. Will stops teaching Spanish, but it's a pretty surface level exploration of racial dynamics overall. You're the one who complained mm. to Principal Pickens about me. Yeah, and I do it all over again after that performance. You're messing with adult things here, Santana. This is my job. Th this is my and life. This is my education, and it's not a joke to me, although it seems to be one to you. What are you talking about? They all love my performance. Because they don't know any better. Number six, you're all minorities. Once again, the Fox hit missed a golden opportunity to tackle race and disability in a meaningful way. Could we maybe try something a little more black? I agree. We do an awful lot of show tunes. It's Glee Club, not Crunk Club. Don't make me take you to the carpet. Fantastic. Thank you, Mercedes. As co-director of the Glee Club, Coach Sylvester forms Sue's kids with the admittedly underappreciated marginalized students. Yet instead of exploring what it's like to be a minority in high school, the episode is centered around Will and Sue's fighting. I am going to create an environment that is so toxic. No one will want to be a part of that club. The ending is particularly problematic, with the writers going for an I don't see color approach as Will tells the kids they're all the same because they're part of his club. You were right to shine the spotlight mm -hmm. on the fact that those kids are minorities. Because you're all minorities. You're in the Glee Club. As if joining an unpopular club is equivalent to centuries of oppression and discrimination. This erases the experiences of the minorities on the show, and of those watching it too. So it doesn't matter that Rachel is Jewish, or that Finn is unable to tell my rights from my left. Number five, the fox. Dog goes wolf, cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Of all the performances the Glee Club gave us, this has to be one of the most ridiculous. The plot starts out normally enough, with everybody mad at Blaine for being too controlling. I am not trying to be bossy. I'm trying to give the benefit of my experience. I have won more show choir competitions than anyone in this room. But then, in true Ryan Murphy <laughs> fashion, things get weird. There's a gas leak and Blaine passes out. He hallucinates the Glee Club performing, except they're all puppets, and somehow this helps him realize the error of his ways. Ooh, you make me live. When he wakes up, he realizes he was wrong. To apologize, he makes personalized puppets for every Glee Club member. They all dress up and sing the Elvis hit with their marionettes. But there's one sound that no one knows. What does the fox say? It's truly a strange moment. The question of why any of this had to happen is something only yeah, the writers know. It does look a little goofy. Number four. Tina rubs vapor rub on Blaine. Mr. Anderson, you huh? find new ways to inspire me every day. When Blaine comes down with a cold, Tina makes it her mission to help him. At first, it seems like she's just being a good friend. Here, I put together a little cold buster kit for you. Cool. Uh, how did you know? Your nose was red yesterday. However, it quickly becomes apparent that she has a crush on him. He clearly expresses that he's not romantically interested in girls. Still, that's not enough for her. She professes her love to him anyway. So please say something here before I die. <laughs> Blaine? Except it's when he's on a bunch of medicine and is out cold. While he's unconscious and can't consent, she applies vapor rub on him in a provocative and borderline predatory way. Sure, she sheds a few tears along the way, but she also stares just a bit too hard and too long, making the whole scene disturbing and uncomfortable to watch. 
<laughs> Number three, Glee Club learns to twerk. It's almost time for nationals, and Mr. Shu thinks twerking is the key to victory. Mr. Shu, what if some of us don't know how to twerk? Have no fear, your twerk tutorial is here. He tells Jake and Kitty to teach the rest of the kids how it's done. What the hell? Why does this <laughs> man want to watch high school kids twerk? It's already so wrong, and somehow it only gets worse. Will decides that defending the dance is the hill he wants to die on. I guarantee you that in 20 years, twerking will be considered a silly, nostalgic dance. So I ask you, do you want to be on the right side of musical history? Telling the school board it's the next waltz. There's nothing wrong with twerking. It just shouldn't be what kids do with their teacher. As if the whole thing wasn't troublesome enough, they end up performing to Robin Thicke's controversial blurred lines. What? Of he course, so Will thinks it's an Alan Thicke song about life because he mm. really doesn't pay attention. Number two, Rachel's crush on Mr. Schuster. It's time for duets, and Rachel doesn't yeah, have a that partner. Was a weird. It's like I get you, Mr. Shu. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should just wait until Matt gets back. The fates talk, Mr. Shu. Instead of letting her ask one of the kids to sing with her, Will accepts, albeit hesitantly, to do it. This can only be described as a terrible idea. And I. During their rehearsal, it becomes painfully obvious that Rachel has feelings for him. He should shut it down, but inexplicably, he keeps singing. Open it. <laughs> Gold stars are kind of my signature thing. I figure every time you wear it, you can think of me and the star you're helping me become. He's scared to reject her directly because a student once tried to commit suicide after he refused her advances. Therefore, he tries to tell her by song. Young girl, you're out of your mind. Even so, her infatuation her only grows stronger. <laughs> she shows up at his house and even makes him a CD. The whole storyline is unsettling and hard to watch. Thanks. You're welcome. Casserole's almost ready. Hope you like venison. It might be even worse when you consider that Leah Michelle and Matthew Morrison dated before Glee. Before we <laughs> unveil our cringiest number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Quinn convinced Finn he's her baby daddy, even though they never had sex. I'm pregnant. I wasn't sure, and I just really didn't want to go by myself. I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you sooner. Ma? Yes, you. Who else's would it be? Um, well, we, we I never tell you. Last month. <laughs> Hot tub? Let's have a kiki turkey lurkey time does not make for the best Thanksgiving ever. Oh my god. Let's have a kiki. I want to have a kiki. I heard this wasn't bad for the performance. People wasn't really feeling it. And turn, honey. It's turkey lurkey time. Tom turkey ran away, but he just came home. Sue marries herself. Sue, do you take Sue to be your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. And Sue. Do you take Sue to be your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. Did Tina solo have to be for an Asian song? <laughs> Mercedes crush on Kurt. Well, listen, Kurt, this <laughs> that is like was the weird. third time we've gone out. Can't we just make it official? Make what official? You know that we're dating. I'm sorry, Mercedes, but I thought I made it very clear. <laughs> I'm in love with someone else. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Child, occasional videos, or all of them. Awkward. Number one, Will rapping. Busted. For a middle-aged white man, Will Schuster sure loves to rap. It's too bad he's not very good. <laughs> <at it. laughs> Did I say that to get get jealous. Okay, smarty, go to a party. Girls are scantily clad and showing body. He seizes any and every opportunity to drop the beat. It's usually unprovoked and unnecessary. She says hello, come sit next to me, you fine fellow. You run over there without a second to lose. And what comes next? Hey, bust the move. And his constant infusion of inappropriately sexual oh, choreography why are you making me every time he fails to rap certainly doesn't help his case. He's supposed to be teaching these kids. She was living la vida loca. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. It seems the only thing anybody learns while watching Mr. Shu rap is why he never made it any further than his own high school glee club. It's also oh. far from being an isolated <laughs> incident. <laughs> He 
kept doing it and we all let him. These performances of his are always so difficult to watch, yet they're also so bad it's almost impossible to look away. My town, that created all the bass sound, enough to shake and kick holes in the ground, cause my style's like a chemical spill. These were rhymes you can vision and feel. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this one. Oh, oh, please don't make me ever watch that again. Oh God, oh. Oh, it's the dancing. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that again, please. Like, I'm gonna give him his credit. Like I said before, in one of my past reactions, because I had just recently did the uh, the reaction to when he sang Sway. Like, that song and, and, and the performance, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much dancing. He was just, it was him and the microphone. And he sang in the microphone. That was good. I like that. You know what I'm saying? He sounded amazing. He did amazing. All that other shit is a no for me. But yeah, that was my reaction, guys, to this video. Like, like he's not a bad person, but he 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 just his his choices is not good. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next reaction video.